that link, load the DAP, and tap the link. And here we go. Here we go. Yeah, Jeb, you you feel what it's like to be actually uh, PPE now. All right, guys. Anybody else not knowing how to do this? I see we got twenty people in the YouTube. If there's anybody else before I close this down, and we can all hang out over there, you can keep two windows open if you really want to. But I'm just gonna keep talking for a little while until you guys figure this out. So we got eleven of you in the U- in the playback. So anybody else, I'll kill some a little a couple more minutes and then we're gonna keep on talking to Tridicus over there in the playback. So Puzzle Piece Dad, let's just see the other people that are active. Puzzle Piece Dad, Buddha Vane, Jeb, I see Jeb's in there already. Uh Tandy NFTs, Alexo. All right. I think I think we're good. All right. So I'm gonna just put a banner up here and say go to playback.tv. And then we're gonna continue. Let me just edit that real quick. Um, all right, I'm going to put that there. Okay, let's see if this works. <laughs> no, you go. hang out, Alexo. All right, so I'm, I'm not going to be able to look at those uh, two things at once, but I think we're good now. I think we're good now. Um, all right, okay. All right, so Treat Kiss, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. So we're going hot. Oh, hold cold. on, I gotta turn this thing. All right. Go. Yeah. So I here's what I'm you. gonna do. I'm gonna first get, I'm gonna first get some music to play in the back. You can hear me. Yeah, I can hear you. Oh. All right. All right. All right. We're good. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the correct music in here. Uh, it's gonna be like the the quiz show music. Let's get that going. All right, this is like my favorite quiz show music. Let's get that going. Let's get the right vibe in here. That's right, it's R. Kelly. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow, you went there. <laughs> I know. <laughs> now, that's a good comment right there. R. R. Kelly was on your porch. Um, <laughs> hold on here. Let's load that up. Oh, come on now. This is the only thing. It's the the whole way of using YouTube on here is it could be a little bit improved, but here we go. I'm gonna wait for that to load. All right, we're almost there. We're almost there. Let's stream the video to the room. Oh wow! All right, all right. We got we got the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Yes. All right, so guys, put put that music kind of quiet. You guys got to control the volume of that music. I'm actually going to mute it for, for you guys to enjoy. All right, <laughs> we're just going to play that in the background. So, awesome, awesome. Actually, shit, you know, to be honest, it's kind of distracting me. So we'll stop that for a second. <laughs> <laughs> when you're when you're when you're going to answer the questions, I'll play it to to put the put the stress okay. levels up. Okay. All right. All right. I'm feeling the stress. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's what we're going to do now. Um, I'm going to ask Tridicus some quick questions. He's going to answer, yep. and then you guys are going to vote hot or cold. So you can hot do that by just going over his icon, and you're going to just put a fireball. I just put a fireball over him, or yep. you're going to do a, ice, oh, ice, a snowflake. Yeah. So is he is he acting like a snowflake? Oh, they are, they're already got you on, on cold. They're wow. already thinking you're cold. Wow. wow. Wow, oh, the disrespect. Disrespect. <laughs> Disrespect's out of control. Golly. Of course they are. <laughs> this is the kind of crap that we have to deal with as dapper employees. I know, I know. Oh, God, oh. you got to be more respectful to your dapper employees that are in the room with me. <laughs> <laughs> this is what the 40 million got you. Are you happy? How about exactly. that question? <laughs> yeah, that is a good question, actually. Man, that was that was a bit of a rugging, wasn't it, up until now? Oh. Um, all right. Oh, there you go. There's some fireballs. All right. So here's the there first question. I think you you already you already answered actually. Your your NBA finals is gonna be yes. Celtics versus the Nuggets. Is that correct? Yes, that is the answer. The so only answer. Who wins that matchup? Oh, Celtics. I mean, they learned last year. They learned what they had to do. I mean, come on. If it wasn't for Steph Curry, 
if I mean Steph Curry just showed up and decided I'm going to prove to the world uh, how great I am again one last time. Uh, but right. it's our turn. It's our. So you think in Celtics and how many games and who's the MVP? Uh, I'm saying Celtics in six. Uh, I'm gonna go Jalen. Go Jalen Brown. Right. I like that. I like um, that. A little bit of a dark horse. Yeah, um, yeah. I like that. I mean, you're gonna get a fireball for me there. Boom. I like it. What What about regular season NBA? Who do you have so far as the as the MVP? I think it looked like Tatum early yeah. on, but not so much lately. Who do you think Tatum is the MVP? Off. I think um, if he can stay healthy, I think Embiid. I think that you know at some point you got to kind of start spreading the love, even yeah. though the Joker probably will deserve it. Uh, but I think Embiid has been in line, you know, uh, for right. And if he can stay healthy, he'll get it. Yeah, I think if he can stay neck and neck with Jokic, I think it it would be nice to see him win one. Uh, yeah. yeah. But if Jokic is the clear winner, I think you got to give it to Jokic. I, 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 we should this shouldn't make it a game of politics. That's what I think. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, that's it. Probably shouldn't, but I just think it always plays in there. Um, yeah. So so this next question is important. Yeah. Better better alternate title for your recent song that you just released. Yeah. Number one option. I'm a cuck for the pack luck. Number two option option. <laughs> I'm horny for the rare pulls. <laughs> Second option. I mean, <laughs> look, horny is a just an outstanding word. I mean, you the other ones, cuck and luck. Yeah. Horny? Horny I mean, wins out. Horny wins oh. out. Number- <laughs> All right. Okay. Horny for the yeah. rare pulls. It is. Um, and and pull. I mean, you threw pull. In. Yeah. Exactly. The, the rare pulls. Right. Exactly. This is why. <laughs> this is why we can make these jokes on playback. Um, I like it. <laughs> cigar cigars or vape pens. Uh, that's um, that's that's beneath me. Everybody knows the answer to that one. Cigars. I mean, because you've been on. You've been showing cigars in certain. Oh areas, yeah, right? yeah 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 yeah. I mean I don't. Yeah, that's not a. I I don't I don't I don't understand the other. It's a yeah. uh, It's a waste of uh, electricity and uh, energy. Mm. You you never oh. wanted to you never wanted to inhale some like minty bubblegum frosted flake. Yeah, like, c- Cheerio. No, something? no C- cigar. <laughs> painful, burning. Uh, you know, Cuban. Good stuff. Hell yeah. Okay. Cigars it is. Next question. Uh, yachts or sailboats? <laughs> Yacht. Because it's All less right. work. Good answer. And there's hotter chicks. <laughs> <laughs> Just by default. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that probably, that's probably true. I would imagine Hot that's true. like yachts. I don't know. Yeah, that's true. That's true. They always they they always do the Instagram photos, and you never see yeah, the yeah. old the old leathery guy that took them on that yacht. For some reason, Instagram models have never found their way into my nineteen ninety two Dodge pickup. But they're sure on it's back in action. Oh. I'm sure if you had that thing now and it was nice and shiny, they'd like it. No, I have it. No, don't keep. I mean, I'm, I currently drive it. So. Oh, okay, but no Instagram <laughs> models over there in Arkansas. <laughs> No. <laughs> uh, At least parallels. Yeah, parallels. we're back to we're back to a top shot question. Parallels, yay or nay? Man, I like uh, the ripple artwork as an idea. I think it's a little bit before its time. I think uh, it could have been. It, it, it's it's for a future top shot. Um, yeah, I'm giving you I'm giving you a fireball on that one. That's not, another one uh, of those hundred year yeah. product ideas. Yeah, great. I think it's got it's got potential, but man, it's just too soon. Too soon. Yep, agreed. All right, let's let's see another one. I get this kind of along the same ilk. Uh, yeah. N- new Giannis rare released. How does Tridicus feel? Tridicus happy or sad that a new Giannis Giannis rare comes out? Uh, ambivalent. I don't care. I mean, okay, doesn't I care. I like. I think Giannis is an amazing player, but I don't. I don't, I don't care to own any of his top shot moments. Who is your least favorite player in the NBA? Least favorite, um, 
Dylan, even though I'm a Grizzly fan, Dylan Brooks has been getting on my nerves. <laughs> you don't like Dylan Brooks? You don't like him more than you don't like uh, Draymond? I mean, I got to respect Draymond. You know, you got to. I mean, dude's a, dude's a Hall of Famer. I just, I guess part of my deal is you can act that way when you're a Hall of Famer, but when you're, when you're just coming up, man, you, you haven't proved anything to anybody. Like, shh, be quiet, quit the talking, and just just play. Yeah. I like yeah. that. I may be old. That may be too old school. No, I think you're right. I think that's part of the reason why everyone was hating on the Grizzlies. Because the yeah, Grizzlies were yeah. talking like they've already done it. Like, you haven't yeah. done anything. Be quiet. Oh, like, exactly. like, go prove yourself first. Yes, yes. You're, you, you're good. you got potential. But that's right. meaningless. Uh, and what about your point. favorite player in the NBA? Oh, Jalen Brown. Easy answer. I love Jalen. He's a great um, player. What? Why? Why Jalen Brown over Tatum? Um, I just, uh, I like his game more. I just, um, I'm, you know, sometimes he he gets a little lost. It's weird, you know. I don't understand that, but um, just his all around game and 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 just who he is as a as a man as a leader, just kind of. You know, Tatum seems a little aloof at times, but he's you know he's great, and he's been great for a long time. I feel like I feel like Jalen's uh, more down to earth, uh, yeah, man of the people, and just an amazing player. Yeah, agreed. Uh, I think that's why Kyrie Irving didn't like Boston because he he felt uh, threatened that Jalen Brown was actually like a very intelligent person, and, yeah. and he he just yeah. played one on TV. Yeah. So. Uh- Give yourself some heat. <laughs> can I give you heat for that? I don't know if I yeah, oh, you gotta I give me a fireball. There you go. Oh, There's my fireball. Yes, some guess. some people in the chat were giving me snowflakes. My goodness. Yeah. yeah uh so here's here's a question that's a little out of left field. Michael Jordan's son dating <laughs> Scotty Pippen's ex wife, who I know you have a history with Scotty Pippen. I do have a history with Scotty Pippen. Uh is that weird or love is blind? Love is love. <clears throat> that is that's just weird. <laughs> that's just weird. That's that's that, that's that whole upper echelon of very wealthy people that all run in the same circle, and so it's just a little bit inbred, kind of weird, you know. Oh yeah, that is weird. Yeah. I know it is weird. Yeah, don't like it. Don't like yep. it at all. And here's here's actually some. I I found some random flash questions for you. So, okay. what is is there anything that you ever spent money on that you regret? Yes, Sega Genesis. Really, you regret Sega Genesis? Mm-hmm. Why wow, you're it was an SNES on, guy? It goes back to the uh, it goes back to the marriage thing. Early on in our marriage, we didn't really have the money for it, and uh, it caused a lot of conflict. Oh wow, that's yeah. interesting. So Sega Genesis was one of the things that created resentment in your in your marriage yes, that you were talking yes. about. And I bu- I bought it so I could play an NBA game that was on it. And, uh, it's listen. He, he, my wife can tell the whole story. She loves to tell the story about how, how what a foolish decision it was. I actually had to ask my mom for the money, which is you know embarrassing. Go ask your mommy. Wow. Yeah. You know so you asked, you, but yeah. So man, that, I feel like we could dig deeper here. This sounds like a really it interesting was, story. It so was you, you, so you, I'm you got. <laughs> So you wanted the Sega. Your wife at the yeah. time was like, "You're not getting that damn Sega." And then you we went to your mom. You're like, "You're like, mom, you, could you just like let yeah. me hold on to maybe three hundred bucks real quick? Let me go buy the yes. Sega. I really want to play this NBA game. Yes. You buy the you buy the Sega. Yeah. Now now the Sega's in your house. How are you enjoying that game while your yeah. wife is now like on your neck, saying, "I what yeah. a jerk you are." It was embarrassing. It was. Um... It was like, what the hell have I done? This game is not this much fun. That's you know, it wasn't worth all of this. And so what, uh, ended, what ended up happening? Did you end up like giving it back or selling it, or what'd you do? I uh, I, I I can't remember honestly. I think I mm. kept it, but okay. it's been uh, it's been it's just, it's one of the family stories of lore. You know, like this is how immature your father was when I married him. I yeah, like it. Kind of I like thing. that story. Did, <laughs> and did you ever, <laughs> did you ever play, did you ever like do video, like enjoy video games after that? Did that live like oh, a sour yeah, yeah. taste in your mouth? No, no, no. I'm still, yeah, I love, I still love video games. I'm a big uh, civilization 
and um, World, any kind of uh, Sim City, uh, mm. all the building games. I love those. I got deep into Frostpunk for a while. Frostpunk uh, is that what you just said? Yeah. Oh, I don't know what dude, that is. It's it's a good game. You basically, you know, the Earth is frozen, and you're a leader, and you got to save this group of people. I mean, it's it's a great game. Huh. Um, I, I never was up. into the first person shooter things. I could never figure out that whole. My kids would make fun of me because that, you know, how one controller is your where you're looking and the other is you moving. Right. You know, I'd end up just in a corner jumping up and down, and yeah. my kids would just come around and shoot me and make fun of me. Yeah. But uh, yeah, big. We're big gamers. Big gamers. That's cool. Guys, so, and yeah. I never, I never got into like the more modern stuff. But I did like the only shooter I ever really enjoyed was GoldenEye on Nintendo sixty four. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, that's like the I'm best game of all time. And so that was the that was the random question that I picked up. And then I guess the other question is, what is something that people might be surprised that is worth the money? Something that you bought that people might not realize is worth the money. Something I bought that's worth the money. I I do um, I do spend uh, money on shoes. Mm. Good pair of shoes is important. I see. Can't underestimate right. that. Are you talking like a, a pair of shoes that's like clean and flashy, or you mean like a, a nice supportive pair work of shoes that people? Yeah, work boots. Work boots. Um, yeah, yeah. But you know. Right. And when I was playing ball, playing basketball, you know, trying to spend money. I don't really buy sneakers now for, you know, like uh, fashion statements. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, well, you never know. I mean, some of these yeah. Top Shot types, they yeah, like showing up they, to those events wearing brand new I sneakers. I know they do. So, yeah, spend spend money. Socks, shoes, take care of your feet, people. Take care mm. of your feet. Got to go with the wool and the, the <laughs> what's like the smart wool, the smart wool socks or where oh, it's at. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, it's worth it. You, you're so much more productive in the world when your feet are feeling good. Yeah, that's good. Very wise. <laughs> Let's see what else. I got a couple more here. Uh, here's one. What is the best present that you've ever received? Best present? Millennium Falcon. Millennium Falcon. Christmas of 83, 84. Nice. Unbelievable. Santa. He delivered. Came, I, yeah, I still remember coming downstairs and seeing that Millennium Falcon under the tree. That was glorious. Oh, good. It's a good memory. It's a it core memory. Core. Yep. Here's one. Uh, what is your most strongly held belief? Or do you have like a do you have like a motto or a what's it called? Yes. A creed? A creed that you held that you I hold do. tight? I do. I kinda, it's kind of threefold. Okay. Um, submit yourself to the awareness of the now. Mm. Submit yourself to the truth of the now. Okay. And submit yourself to your noblest values in the now. Those are the three. Wow. Because all you got is now. You don't. Sure, of course. Yeah. There's no. Who, I don't know what's going on tomorrow. Yesterday's gone. I got now. So that's it, man. But you're able to that's remind yourself of that, like. All the time, you don't get stuck on the on things oh, that worry you, or yeah, 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 all the time. It's it's constantly, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, those. But I keep I come back to those things. Yeah, I just try to keep coming back to them, and you know, meditate. I meditate. Um, try to read uh, spiritual books to get mm. you know to connect to the now. Anything about the now, I'm, I'm I, I dig into. So you're a big Eckhart Tolle guy. Yeah, Eckhart Tolle, any kind of Christian mysticism or Buddhism, you know, um, that kind of stuff is really helpful for me. It helps me get me get get out get me out of my head, focus in on my breathing and, and living in the moment. It's it's very helpful. And I work, you know, working out is it's, it's the same idea, right? Right. Um, I can't be in my head if I'm in pain while I'm lifting or running. So that's true. That's true. Uh, someone's giving me the snowflakes for some reason. I don't, I don't know what know I said. Uh, uh, maybe was, <laughs> they don't want that kind of question. They yeah, I think that's why. <laughs> uh, too tangential. Yeah, too tangent. Tandy gential. Um, tandy gential. And then I, I got genital, not, tandy genitals. I think the other one was uh, <laughs> kind of related to that, which is I know you have four children. What is yeah. a, what is a lesson that you've passed to your children that they 
that you feel like they really uh, understood? Um, I think they know that they are valuable and they're loved and um, hopefully they're giving that same acceptance and kindness to other people. Uh, so, there you go. Very nice. Very yeah, nice tandy yeah, genitals they're, right they're, there. They're, 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 <laughs> they are outstanding <laughs> adults and I'm very proud of them. Uh, awesome. So, yeah. So we got we got a, a couple if uh, guys yeah. chat if you guys have questions you also want to ask then let's hear them. Dan wants to know what's your favorite book. I think Dan actually wants to. Mm. Dan, do you want to ask him that on in on the stage? I don't know if you requested by accident or not, but if you let want to come see on, here, uh, let you come let's on. See if I can find it. I think I got it right here. Where is it? I got my, I'm, I'm walking over to my bookshelf. See if it's here. I may have loaned it. Well. Uh, no, that's 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 the one thing that playback could improve upon because right now you're a tiny little bubble. So if you if you decide to show your book, yeah, it might be hard for people to see. Yeah, that's true. Well, I feel. Huh. I must have let somebody borrow it. I'm always loaning out books. Um. Man, I can't. Uh, I also can't remember. It's called Stoner. It's a great book. But, it's called Stoner. Uh, Stoner. Is it about lettuce? It's real simple. <laughs> no, it's actually not. It's about this. Um, it's about this English professor at the University of Missouri. Okay. And, uh, anyway, it's just kind of he's he's born in this little uh, shack, and his parents are poor, and he goes and teaches at the University of Missouri. And it's just a great book. It's funny. I, I Googled it, and one of the people also ask things when you drop down on the Google search. It says, yeah. why is Stoner such a good book? It says, this novel attempts to restore the memory of one ordinary man whom history yep. has forgotten. It's an, Yeah, it, it's weird because exactly right. It's not really about much, but it's it's a great book. Cool. All right. Well, I'll put that on my list. So here's some other questions. Alexo, do your kids collect and connect, and why? Um, one of my sons did, and uh, he he sold and made money and got out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the, they're my kids are uh, are gamers. I mean, they're they're connected to their. One of my sons was a professional gamer for a while. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. So they're big gamers. They. They uh, so that's their community, and they get you know they're the ones that when I first got into Top Shop, I was like, "What's this thing called Discord?" Oh and yeah, like, oh that's how we can. You know, they hang out with all their friends while they game on Discord. So um, yeah, I remember hearing about that too. I was actually strangely enough, I was doing um, I was taking photos of my wife when she was pregnant, and we went to this park, and there were these there were these like group of like kind of nerdy dudes and girls and. They were talking about video games and they, and I heard them, I overheard them saying something about discord. That was the first time I yeah. ever heard it. So that huh. was like six years ago. I heard about discord. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they, so yeah, that's crazy use, actually to think about. Yeah. They, that's what they do. My, you know, they, they have friends all over the world that they, they game with. So they collect, they connect through gaming uh, for sure. And so is that is that pro gamer or previously pro gamer? He, so I take it he's still gaming a whole lot. Oh, he still games, but he's um, he's actually a PhD student at Texas Tech, so that's pretty. He's pretty busy with that. He's uh, he's the one that told me about Stoner. He's a creative writing uh, PhD candidate. So he dude can write. A what, a what what did you say? A, a writing cre- candidate? Yeah, creative writing. Oh, yeah. creative writing. Okay, cool. So maybe he'll yeah. be writing the next novel. Next great oh, novel. He's writing, a, he's writing a good one right now. Oh, he lets me right. read little bits of it. It's going to be good. Yeah. That's great. Uh, so, Patrick wants to know what game. Oh, what game was your son pro in? It was called, it was, uh, it was a type of, um, oh, what's that popular game that you're on a team? Um, man. Oh gosh, they my kids are big and we're big into it. You're on a team. There's there's different 
characters with different strengths, you know, like one's a tank and one's a oh man. Oh, is that Halo? Or no? no. Like when I say tank, he's a he's a it's a person that can take a lot of damage. Yeah. And it's uh, it's on a map. You know, you, you some of these guys in the chat probably I don't know enough about games, but Pack Trip is saying League of Legends. Uh, yes, Alexis. League of Legends. League oh, of okay. Legends. So it was a, a, a type of League of Legends game. It was called Infinity Crisis that used like the Marvel characters. Okay. So was, you did, you know, same type of thing, but instead of the League of Legends characters, it was these Marvel characters. And he was uh, he was one of the top players in the world, but the game itself, Infinite Crisis, never took off. So mm. his career never really took off. He did it oh, for a semester. That's kind of annoying, though. If he got that good at that game, but because that yeah. game doesn't take off, he doesn't see like the rewards of his good right. work. Yeah, mm. yeah, it kind of sucked. But he's big into Dota. If that sounds familiar. yeah, that's what Alexo like, literally just wrote. That what the hell is Dota? Yeah. Oh. My my kids love Dota, but my oldest is really good at it. Uh, Look it up, Dota. It's kind of the same, from what I understand. It's kind of like League of Legends, but better. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, my son loves that game. He's, he's, he's really good at it. Aren't these those kind of games though that you like? You start playing and you you blink and you've been on your computer for ten straight hours. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That that concerns me, but that, I mean that's cool though that you as a father to your kids like that never wasn't sounds like that never was an issue because your kid now is a, like a a writing PhD. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It's listen. I'm just yeah. When they were younger and at home, it was just yeah. Trust me, lots of fighting. Lots of fighting over computer time, screen time. Yeah. Nowadays, Never. everyone's got a computer in their pocket, but before... Yeah, exactly, exactly. People like... I remember when we had the one family computer just in the living room. Everyone had to, like, clock in, yep. clock out. Yeah, back in the day. And, and, and I never felt... I honestly never felt like we ever found a balance. Right. Um, so we just kept trying, kept, kept at it. Uh, yeah, so. I, I feel like it's probably the same way it is now. My son was five. Yeah. I try to yeah. limit his like TV watching, but next thing you yeah. know, he's he's swindled me. He's watching day yeah. and night. He's watching with yeah. breakfast. He's watching with dinner. <laughs> it is not easy, man. It is not for the faint of heart. Parenting is a. It is it is the most challenging thing you'll ever do. Just don't get discouraged. They're going to be okay. They're going to turn out all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think so oh yeah. man uh let's see guys you guys have any any other questions for Tridicus, or we're we gonna start playing limp biscuit videos and Tridicus can hang if he wants if he can go yeah go do his thing if he wants to let's see if no questions come up then we'll we'll do some yeah. music videos and you're yeah. welcome to hang or drop well, whatever um, you need to do yeah just uh I appreciate you. T I appreciate you having me on, man. I'd love to do this again anytime. And um, appreciate your support of when we launched the site. I just hope that everybody. We're not. We're not uh, shilling anything. We're just wanting to create a platform for folks like you and anybody else that's out there and um, wants to have a voice of uh, collecting and connecting, not just Top Shot, but other stuff too. Uh, so folks can find their way and, and enjoy the space. That's what we're trying to do. So uh, all the support, you know, we appreciate it. We're not trying to, like I said, I ain't, I ain't trying to make it into some, I like my real job. So, yeah, for sure. We're just you know, it would be fun. hard. It would be hard to support your entire lifestyle off like some oh. little group of collectors on Top Shot. That probably wouldn't work out too well. <laughs> Alexa wants to know when grandchildren. Hmm, hopefully a long, long time from now. Not How old's your oldest any, child? He's 26. All right, he's still kind of young. Yeah, he ain't ready for that. I mean, he's a poor PhD student. Uh, yeah, exactly. You know, Let him all wait. My, all my kids are just getting rolling. They're not ready for any of that. Well, when uh, you were 26, what, had you had you already had a child when you were 26? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But uh, it was different, different times then. Different I times. No Netflix. Yeah, 
No Netflix. Yeah, had to uh, find other ways to entertain yourself. That's right. You end up having four kids. So yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so Buda, Buda Vane is, is making a U-turn. He's, he really enjoyed. I think I saw a, a comment up above, too. He said, you seem like a really wonderful dad. And here he's saying, we appreciate you having you on. So I, I think after he said you, you had <laughs> shit on your wall. <laughs> that, was... that was so funny. <laughs> no worries, bro. That was good. That was the highlight. Yeah. I, I agree. <laughs> that, was... <laughs> that was probably my favorite moment as well. Um, yeah, that was great. That was great. Well, well man, think... yeah, thanks, bro. Thanks. I appreciate your time. Absolutely. And, and everybody who's here, keep an eye on Treaty Kiss. And it sounds like – there's more than meets the eye with the with the group of collecting and connecting. I think that uh, yeah. on the surface it seems like a, one thing, but then I think as you dig deeper, it's something yeah. a whole lot more than that. Yeah, I think you'll see that. I think you'll see a lot of diversity and a lot of fun, uh, different voices coming out of our community, and, and hopefully f- other people jumping in um, and using our platform. Uh, to get their good stuff out there. Uh, I, I, you know, hopefully at some point, you know, it's, uh, there's so much good, good stuff you can find on our site that, uh, I, you know, I fade into the background and it becomes about other people. That'd be great. I would yeah. like that a lot. <laughs> well, keep on striving towards that. I'm sure you'll get there, but yeah, Trudy, because I don't want to hold you up. So like, I'm going to, I'm going to play some videos for the, for the chat, but you're welcome to stay or hang or, or sign or get right. off stage and hang or All do right. whatever you want to do. All right. Thank you. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to hop off, watch a little NCAA basketball. Thanks. Danny. Right. Good Dane. man. Good appreciate man. I appreciate you, you making the time as well. Yeah, man. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Take care.